Howdy. Guess who this is? Since that that guy you haven't seen since the last time you looked at him? Me. I'm here for a vinyl update and assorted things to go with that. Uh, to go with the vinyl. So, how's everybody doing out there in the uh, the world of virtual hang on let me finish that yeah I don't want my coffee to get cold so that's why you tuned in today so you can see a guy drinking a cup of coffee yep okay so start off this uh, this little uh, episode I guess this version of this episode not that there's going to be another version I want to show uh, these CDs for starters and uh, there's really no rhyme or reason or theme or anything it's just this is stuff that I've uh, picked up here and there periodically over the course of, I don't know how, how long it's been. And uh, just thought I'd grab a stack, excuse me, and uh, make a video. So starting off with a new release. I mean, it's been out for a, I don't know, a few weeks now. It's the new Rob Zombie on CD, as you can tell. It's the Lunar Injection Kool-Aid Eclipse Conspiracy. And I'm sure this is on vinyl, too, but I just got the CD because it was... A good price, and uh, I actually don't have any Rob Zombie or White Zombie on vinyl, and I'm sort of surprised to say that out loud. Wow, it's like, hmm, well then. And uh, yeah, so then I picked up this uh, box set. I'd seen it one day we were out. I was like, man, I'd really like to have that, but I really don't want to spend that kind of money. Uh, which then I afterwards I looked up looked it up online, which I guess it's out of print, and I think it, it exists in on in vinyl form too. This the CD version, uh, and it's quite a bit more on the ones I've seen online. So I thought, well, if it's there when I go back, I'll get it. It's uh, Captain Beefheart and his Magic Band box set. This one's called Grow Fins Rarities from 1965 to 1982. And there's a lot of stuff on here that I had not heard previous to buying it. And uh, it's got... Uh, it's got a book with it, and it's, uh, it's in these paper sleeves. They look like old 78s, but it has, I'm going to read everything that's on it, but it does have uh, outtakes or alternate takes of uh, a lot of the tracks from Trout Mask Replica's sessions. Um, it also has... Um, some live stuff. It has uh, each CD is is pretty much categorized by the uh, the years. It has a lot of demos on here. Some acetate demos. So yeah, it's awesome to have this. 
and I think I've seen the vinyl version once, I want to say. I don't remember how much that one was, but, you know, when you buy it, see it. I mean, when you see it, buy it. I also picked up this book, ordered this book, actually, nothing but a good time. Oh, it's the Uncensored History of 80s Hard Rock. And uh, I haven't read this yet because it's quite a thick book and it'll take me forever. Not much of a reader. I mean, I like picture books. You don't have to read those. But as far as like a novel type book, I mean, there's some pictures in here too, but it has to, it has to capture my attention. I have a short attention span. And I, I will start reading a book a lot of times and even if it's a, a topic that I like or a band or whatever, I'll get about halfway through it if I make it that far and lose interest. That don't always happen, but it does happen a lot. Yeah, it does happen a lot. So, oh yeah, vinyl. Is that what you came here for? That's what I came here for. But actually, uh, this past weekend, uh, or actually this past week, it took about three days, uh, three consecutive days, I pulled out uh, all the records that I wanted to listen to and records that I've been looking for in this mess down here. A lot of them I haven't. A lot of the shelves I haven't been able to get to since we moved here. So I pulled out all of those and cleaned and organized as I went and uh, got rid of some records. Quite a, quite a few actually, but it wasn't really any records that, I mean, if they were worth anything or if they were ones that I liked, I wouldn't have got rid of them. It's more like, you know, records I've been accumulating, uh, a lot of them were like, as an example, nothing against Engelberg Humperdinck, but there was, you know, that kind of stuff. There's some, uh, some Eddie Arnold and some classical, uh, just stuff that I really wouldn't listen to and haven't listened to. You know, it's stuff that, that I didn't buy myself. So, anywho, I got a lot more room down here now. So it's a lot more organized, like it should be. So if I can just keep it that way, on to the vinyl. Um, we were out recently, and I knew these existed, but I hadn't actually got my hands on one. It's uh, I have the black vinyl. This one is the red vinyl. Anthem and the Peaceful Army, Great Event Fleet. Uh, and uh, I think this one was just a um, Target exclusive, the colored vinyl. And I might want to take it out. Everybody knows what red looks like. It won't come out anyway. It's bashful. See there? See? It's red. So, now I have this black vinyl and red vinyl. And, uh, has a lyric sheet, so on. Set that right there. And then, um, I'm gonna get fingerprints all over this. I should buy gloves to do these videos for some of these records. This came out uh, the 16th of April, and I had to have it. It's a Great Van Fleet, The Battle at Gardens Gate. Double album. See, this already has something on it. Double album. And this one was, let me show the 
gatefold. I don't know if anybody showed this yet or not. I'm way behind on watching video. But this one is the yeah, this one is the clear vinyl. This one was the Walmart exclusive clear vinyl. And then, of course, there's a get back in there. Then I also got this one. Uh, and same album. This one is, and this is the black vinyl, and I pre-ordered this one on Amazon because I wasn't sure if who was going to carry what or what was going to carry who. So I, I thought, well, I'll pre-order it, then at least I'll get it on black vinyl. And then, seems like, hmm. I thought I had it on, no I didn't, anyway, thinking to myself, and then I also pre-ordered the CD. I got uh, I pre-ordered the CD when I pre-ordered the vinyl, and um, um, then I bought the CD. We were out, and I bought it because I hadn't got the one that I pre-ordered yet, and I wanted to listen to it because the CD wasn't going to be here for I don't know a week or two after it was out. So then I gave my extra copy to Cat. So, but yeah, I don't know if you've heard any of this yet, but it's really good. And it's very, well, I won't say very different, but there is parts of it that's different if you're familiar with their music already. Uh, and if you get on YouTube, they have several uh, live videos of, from the songs from the album and there's music videos that they've released too. My opinion is I think they're going to, I think they've recorded, I think they've did the whole album live and they're releasing a song at a time or as a video. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I think they're doing. So, and then I picked this up. My favorite albums of all time. They might be Giants. Lincoln. This is their second album. I used to have this on cassette. Uh, and this one's red vinyl. I don't know if it's now. Everybody knows what red looks like. But uh, yeah, they might be giants. I've seen, the, seen them in concert, I think, about three times. This came out in 88. Um, it's very... I think they were alternative before there was alternative. So I think their first album came out in... 86 or something like that. Yeah, they might be Giants is a really good band, and uh, yeah. And then, like I said, there's no specific theme or order here. I had pre ordered this album on Amazon, and then before it came out, I'd pre ordered this one and I think two others by the same artist. And before they came out, uh, I guess, I don't know if it ran out of stock or what, but Amazon canceled my orders. All three of them they canceled. And this was the one I wanted the most because I had the other two on um, black vinyl, I think. Uh, but, uh, so then we were out record shopping a couple weeks ago, I guess it was. And uh, I found this one. It's uh, Merciful Fate, Nuns, I have no fun. 
and uh, this is a, like I said a reissue and it uh, this one's on marble black and white marble you probably can't see that anyway I'm not sure what marble looks like I don't know what to tell you and it came with a download card and lyrics and you know, the usual stuff and this is just an EP it only has four songs but considering it originally came out in 1982 so uh, yeah I think um, I was gonna say I have all the merciful fate now but no I don't I just have all the merciful fate that I really wanted and then this one Cat found this one for me when we were record shopping. It's uh, and I think this might have been a, a record store day record at one time. Or the Rough Guide to Psychedelic Cambodia. I have a few of these that I actually did get on record store day. I have the um, I don't remember what it is. I think it's the India. This one's my vinyl on the long show on that. I think I have the India one. I don't know what it's called. Psychedelic India, maybe. I don't know. And it, it seems like I have another one, too. Because they put out a bunch of different ones. I think it's the Bollywood one that I have. What is that? It's the download card. Because I guess the download card has extra tracks on it than, than just what the album has. So. Yep. And then uh, also this one I've been wanting to get for a long time. The Beastie Boys licensed to Ill on vinyl. You know, I've had the CD forever. This is their, what I would consider their best album. But, you know, it's their breakthrough album, so to speak. Uh, the only other one I have on vinyl is uh, Paul's Boutique. Uh, which is a great album, too. But this one I like because it's more primitive. And it's on, like, Coke Bottle. Whatever that's Coke bottle vinyl. And uh, I'd pass this one up several times since it's been reissued. And I thought I'd finally get it. And it has No Sleep Till Brooklyn, Fight for Your Right to Party, you know, all the classic stuff. And uh, one day we were at. Uh, Walmart, and uh, I'd seen this on vinyl. First time I'd ever seen it on vinyl, I knew it was out on CD, or I knew it was out on vinyl, but I hadn't seen it. It's uh, it says, My sister thanks you, and I thank you. The White Stripes Greatest Hits, and I've been buying. Uh, told myself every time I go record shopping, I'm gonna buy myself a White Stripes album until I get all of them because I have the CDs but for some reason I never was compelled to buy the vinyl and this one's black vinyl um, double album so you know there's some stuff on here that wasn't on their other albums I think yeah that's a good picture there Uh, yeah, I mean, how can you uh, not be a fan of the White Stripes or Jack White in general? And then I have two more to show. This one's another uh, another one that I've passed up numerous times. It's uh, Red Patent Leather by the New York Dolls. This is their last... I guess you'd say official album. I don't know really how official it was. The Worldwide 1984 Live Album. Uh, 
one time pressing. So I have I have heard this. I haven't listened to the album, but I have heard this a lot. Okay, this is also on colored vinyl. This is white vinyl. I just I was looking at the label there and didn't I didn't think it said white, but it does. New York Dolls, and that's, it's got uh, some stuff on here, like they do Dizzy Miss Lizzie, and Ain't Got No Home, but of course they do per Personality Crisis, Looking for a Kiss, the usual stuff. I don't know if this was originally released. Uh, I don't think it was an import originally. It doesn't say it was an import at all, but... Yep. And I guess... You know, they've been nominated for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame again. It doesn't look like they're going to get in yet. Uh, last time I checked, I don't even think they were in the top five, which I don't... I don't know why people, how people are voting. I voted a few times, but um, I'd like to see uh, the New York Dolls get in because they've been eligible forever and there's only one member left living. And then Devo was the other band I think should be in. I mean, that's a whole conversation about that stuff, but. What was the other one? There was another one that's, well, Iron Maiden, of course. I think the MC5 was nominated last year, and they didn't get in. What can you do? Uh, and then the last one I'll show, which uh, I knew this one existed. I think I had it on my wish list on Amazon for a long time. And I don't know if you can still get it or not, but this is Zachary's Monster Gallery on pumpkin orange vinyl. And Zachary is like, you know, awesome. It's a cool looking album. I don't know, I don't think it's on here, but he, he was, uh, of course I wasn't around, and I don't know if I was even living at this point, but I know he had a novelty hit with, uh, Dinner with Drac. That's not on this one, but I, I do have it on, uh. I don't know if I have it on CD and vinyl, but I'm, I think I have the CD. And then there's a couple other versions of that song, too. There was one that has different lyrics that was not allowed to be played or something or other. So that's all I have to show in this video. I'm not on this or this. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I notice I have quite a few new subscribers. I really appreciate that stuff. It's not expected. Or not, yeah, not expected. Um, but appreciated. Um, I will be doing a 500 plus subscribers contest very soon. Um, I haven't worked out the details of it yet, but it should be, I should be uh, announcing it hopefully in the next video that I do. Um, so stay tuned for that if you want to participate. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next vinyl update. My fellow vinyl collectors.
Should I press stop now? Because I've showed everything that I was going to show. I mean, I can just leave the camera on until the battery runs down, runs out. Nah. See ya.